Hello. So my project, SciDance Impacts, uses dance to help people learn, care, and take action to address environmental problems. Do you ever feel overwhelmed by too much information? Even really important information like the dangers of climate change or the perils of plastic pollution. Do you find yourself just kind of swiping by those pictures of starving polar bears? What's the important story that you just swiped by? And how did you feel when you did it? Did you feel guilty? Some people might say, you don't care. But I say, maybe you can't care. The human brain in the past only had to know and care about hundreds of people. But today, we know about the problems of billions of people and the threats that are facing the entire world. Dance can be an answer for dealing with information overload and apathy. Research shows that our bodies and movement impact our minds. It changes our thoughts and our emotions. As a marine scientist and a dancer, I created a participatory approach for co-choreographing science dances. Um, these dances don't require that anyone know science or be experienced in dance. A facilitator helps people share, discover, augment scientific information, and then using an improvisational structure, express this new knowledge through movement. We target adults because they are the people who can shape the world through voting and purchasing, and our activities take only anywhere between 10 minutes and two hours. I'm gonna show you a really brief excerpt of a dance about turtle conservation. What you're gonna see is waves bringing dead turtles to a beach where society then takes notice and inventors create a technology to save sea turtles from drowning in fishing nets. So we evaluated using exit, exit interviews and observation. We're launching an experimental study. So what did we find? We found that participants acquired new scientific information, but they were also creating connections of this knowledge to their interests. So they're making these personalized linkages that are helping them discover relevance and value in the science. They're also retaining this information for a really long time. So participants will approach me years after being in an activity and tell me the science they learned in that session. We're seeing that people are developing a deeper understanding and appreciation for the importance of conservation science, and they're growing more concerned for wildlife. You're going to see in this picture above, this is Rosalie. If you look at her face, you can see the empathy that she's feeling. Our participants also are motivated to act. So about a third of them join us again in future activities, and they take the knowledge that they've learned and they share it with other people. And it's that sharing that has surprised me the most. So Rosalie again, I met a friend of hers, and he connected me to the dance that she was in. He started telling me about sea turtle conservation. And I mentioned that she had portrayed a dead sea turtle, and he corrected me, and he's like, no, she was a stranded sea turtle. <laughs> And this is a technical term that had passed through a chain of four different people maintaining its scientific accuracy along the way. That is amazing. So while I focus mainly on the participant dancers and their transformative experience, we're also amplifying the impact by performing the dances. And those audiences are creating a, a diff new funnel for future engagement through discussion and hands-on activities. Finally, side dance impacts use very few resources. So I've done these dances in the street, in parks. I've had people ask me last <coughs> minute to do a, a, a um, science dance, and I do. In fact, if you want me to do it, just ask me later. I'll do it for you. <laughs> um, but what I want to leave you with is actually a tiny little dance. So please join me by closing your eyes. And while your eyes are closed, I want you to think of a memory, a really positive one, where you feel powerful, where you felt capable, where you felt hopeful about the future. And now with your eyes still closed, I want you to create a gesture that symbolizes that memory. Perhaps it's a hand to the heart. Perhaps it's a hand to the sky. Whatever that gesture is. Be brave. Make that gesture. No one's watching you. And now I want you to think about the start of my talk and that, that story that you might have swiped by. 
Think about that and now take this positive, powerful gesture and do it at the same time. And I want you to feel how when that difficulty meets that positive energy, you're a little bit more empowered to pay attention, go out, engage, and make a little change in the world. Thank you.